Hey guys, this is Jeremy from HQ.com. Today I'm doing a review of the Shot Tech. It's a pretty interesting training device. I'll give you a look at it here. Uh, it's like a roller coaster for the hockey puck. So you can see it's like high tech training device, uh, the most high tech one I've ever seen, anyways. And uh, basically, what it does is it provides resistance on the hockey puck while you shoot, and that is supposed to help you build your shooting muscles and make give you a harder shot, basically. So I'm gonna give you a close up look at it first. I'm going to test it out and I'm going to tell you if I think it's worth buying. So let's get right to it. I'll give you a nice close-up look now. So here is the device. It is the ultimate hockey training device, so Shot Tech claims. Uh, we'll see about that in the review. I'll just give you a quick look at what it looks like, just set up. Uh, and this is the tension band here. So if one makes it really easy to move the puck, uh, six makes it harder to move the puck. So it just gives you more resistance. So this is the puck here. Normal hockey puck spins, won't come out of there though. It's attached to this band down there. And once again, attached to this resistance thing here. Uh, the puck will move down this track. And it's kind of cool, they've got these LED lights. So those lights will light up as the puck goes back and forth. So it's kind of like the strength test things at the uh, fair you might have seen. Uh, this is the end here. I have it plugged in. And it's got uh, an LED display. So it's kind of neat, you can play with a friend or just by yourself. So let's see if I can get this right. Uh, this is mode, and then you can set a time. So you can do up to three minutes, uh, and then I'll just time how many repetitions. It'll count how many times you move the puck. Or the other mode, uh, I don't know, I probably messed it up now. The other mode is you just hit start. And it just counts how many uh, reps you do if you're playing against a friend and then how many reps your friend will do. Uh, so we'll just put it on a 30 second timer and I'll get started and show you how it works. Oh, also, um, they sent me this thing, which I guess is supposed to be installed here. But the screw is way too short and I couldn't really get it in there. It's a pain in the arse. So I did not install that. Uh, it's just supposed to stop the puck from, I guess, hitting this over and over and over. So yeah, here we go. Let's get started. Here I am testing it. I'm doing my snapshot, so shooting off the foot closest to the blade of my stick. I'm uh, just practicing quick release, which I think this is pretty good for because you're just shooting over and over and over. Uh, it's not exactly like a wrist shot, but it's similar. And uh, this is just the LCD screen here, so it's counting down and then counting your reps. And I had it on the sixth tension, which is the strongest, and I could still easily hit the end every time. So I guess if you're a stronger shooter, you'll be able to easily hit the end. Um, did provide a little bit of resistance though, and I could feel it in my muscles after using it for a while. So that, that was pretty good. Uh, also, it talks to you. There you go. Are you done? <laughs> and it beeps to tell you you're done. So you can turn that off if you want. I'm just going to give you my overall thoughts. That should give you a pretty good idea of what the shot tech is, how it works, and what you can do with it. I'm going to give you my overall opinion and I'll just break down sort of what you can do with it and what it's for, what it's not for. Uh, so I'll start with that. Basically what it's for is just building the muscles that you use to shoot with. So it's not going to teach you how to take a wrist shot, how to take a backhand, anything like that because the technique isn't there. You're basically just pushing the puck forwards. So if you're going to use it, you should already know how to take a wrist shot and you should have a really good idea because if you use this all the time, you don't want it to mess with your technique. You're just pushing the puck forwards and bringing it back. But what that will do is really build your muscles. If you're using the uh, resistance, the high res resistance, and you're doing a lot of repetitions, it's going to give you a quick release. So I think it will help you build a quick release and uh, train your muscles for a really specific motion. Um, as far as what I buy it, uh, it's $350, which is quite a bit of money. Um, I mean, I would probably just end up buying 100 pucks and shooting those over and over and over. It's not the same, they don't have the resistance. But uh, really you do get a lot of practice and you, you really perfect your technique, your overall technique of shooting by just shooting pucks. Um, but yeah, for $350 if you can afford it and you want something new to add to your training room, I mean this is pretty cool. Uh, it works well, uh, it does exactly what it's supposed to do but it's a very specific thing. So it's just going to train your muscles, it's going to um, improve the power of your shot. But there are other ways to improve your shot, so if you're on a budget, I wouldn't splurge for the uh, shot tech. There's a lot of other methods that you can use that would be cheaper and will build your muscles. But I mean, if you have the money and you want to add something new to your training room, uh, shot tech would be cool to pick up. So that's my overall opinion. If you uh, want to check it out, head over to HawkReviewHQ.com. We've got links to where you can buy it 
and uh, we got a full review and pictures and reviews of all kinds of other hockey equipment and training games. Thanks a lot guys, see you in the next video.